let me ask you a simple question. How many of you guys check the back of your computer before turning it on? If you don't, you should be doing that right now. Because you would be really surprised to know what a simple USB device like this could do to your computer. In this video, I am going to show you how you can do cool stuff using Arduino HID functionality. You can make your Arduino to work as a keyboard or as a mouse and do pretty cool stuff with push of a button. Make sure you watch till the end because I'll be showing you how you can literally hack a PC and control it remotely using this tiny board. I will share a complete tutorial, codes and circuit diagrams in the description. The codes are also available in GitHub so feel free to download, edit and add more codes to it. Let's get started. Hey guys, let's get our hands dirty. Ever heard of USB rubber ducky? Well, simply. It is a programmed USB keyboard in the form of a pen drive which will send keystroke to a device connected to it and can be used to prank or even hack unlocked PCs. Will you guys believe me if I say we can do it with a $1.5 Arduino compatible board with simple coding without detailed knowledge on how USB works? This is DigiSpark. It is a lightweight microcontroller development board. It comes with 6 GPIO pins, I2C, an SPI serial communication and a USB interface. It also has 3 PWM pins which can be used to control L293D motor drivers or servo motors. We can use Arduino IDE to program DigiSpark but the way we upload the program is a little bit different than usual. Here, I have explained everything from DigiSpark introduction to the first code upload. Check it out if you are interested. This board can also act as HID. HID or Human Interface Devices are devices that take inputs from us and pass it on to devices connected to it. HID devices include keyboards, joysticks, mouse, touchpad, graphic tablet, etc. Let's make use of this functionality and have some fun. So I created a circuit and made a PCB where we can connect our DigiSpark which will enable our DigiSpark to do multiple actions. And here we are an Altium PCB designer. Altium is a PCB designer that can be used to create simple PCBs for hobby projects or complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. It's easy to create our own PCBs using Altium. If you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, you are gonna love it. Altium subscription includes Altium 365, which lets you design, share and manufacture your projects everything in one place. Secure centralized cloud storage lets you share designs and ideas with teammates or clients. You can download and install the free trial version from the description down below. And if you are a student, you get a 6 month full license absolutely free. So don't miss out. Now let's take a look at the circuit and the PCB. Here I have designed a PCB that has some buttons so that I can run multiple codes without reprogramming the DigiSpark. This is the circuit. Since we have 5 volt coming out from the USB port, we don't need additional supply. Here we have some switches resistors and indicator LEDs. I will share the link of the PCB files in the description. Now let's install the drivers, boards and library in Arduino IDE. Go to this link and download the drivers. Extract it and install the drivers. Now start Arduino IDE and go to file, preferences and paste this line of code in the additional board manager URL. Now go to tools boards and select board manager. Here select contributor. Type in Digistem AVR boards package and click install. Once it completes close the board manager and go to tools boards and select DigiSpark default 16.5 MHz. Next we will install Arduino Digi keyboard library which will make it easy for us to send HID commands to the PC using DigiSpark. This can be easily installed from the library manager itself. Now we will start coding. Guys these are the keystroke you can send to your PC using DigiSpark using the Digi keyboard library. I will leave the link in the description because you will need it for writing your own codes. First I will show you the basics. Basically here we have 4 buttons. We will assign one task for each button so that when one button is pressed it will run corresponding function and execute the task. First function is to send keystroke hello world. Second function is to send keystroke windows button plus L key to lock windows. Third function is to send keystroke to open notepad. And the fourth function is to send keystroke to shut down the PC. Let's upload and check it out. 
first press button one and yeah it's printing hello world now let's try button two that will lock the pc now let's try button three cool right i will press the button four at the end of the video otherwise i'll have to start everything all over again this way you can send keystroke using Arduino to do some useful stuff like media control, make your own keyboard, play pranks or even hack PCs. Now as promised I will show you how to take over an unlocked PC and gain remote access to it. Please note that this is only for educational purposes and to show how dangerous this little thing can be. For this part you will need a Linux PC with Metasploit installed in it. Metasploit Framework is a collection of tools which can be used to write exploits and penetrate into remote machines. This tool is pre-installed in Kali Linux. In a moment, I will show you how it is done. Now, we have to create a code which when executed in the victim's machine initiates a connection back to our PC. In the terminal, execute the below command. Here, lhost is the IP address of your machine and lport is the port for reverse shell to connect on. This will create a payload named python payload.py. The contents of the file look somewhat like this. Now you will have to copy all these codes and paste in the digispark code. Basically, what this code do is, it will wait for 2 seconds, press alt, ctrl and t to open up the terminal. Wait for 2 seconds, type in python and press enter to start python. Wait for 0.5 seconds, type in python exploit code and press enter to execute it. Wait for 1 second, type quit and press enter to exit python. Wait for 0.5 seconds, then type exit and press enter to exit the terminal. Now you can upload this code to your digispark. Next we have one more thing to do, set up the listener. We have to start the listener which will wait for incoming connections in the given port. Fire up Metasploit and execute the below codes in order. This will start the listener. Now all you have to do is Connect this DJ Spark to your victim's unlocked machine. All you need is a 10 second window. All the codes will run in 5 seconds. Once you get the shell, you can do almost anything you want. Create a persistent backdoor, upload or download files, create another user and provide it SSH access. Possibilities are endless. This code works if your friend's PC uses Linux OS. Similarly, we can write a code for Windows too. The Windows version will be updated in the link below. Follow the link in the description and you will find complete details on the project. The codes are also available in GitHub, so feel free to download, edit and add more codes to it. See you soon guys, see you in the next video.